In 2009, our son Colton was diagnosed with leukemia. Throughout the course of the year, he went through treatment and ended up relapsing and going for a bone marrow transplant. In December of 2009, we found out that the cancer was back and that he wasn't going to make it. Our wish grantor had contacted us and told us that she had a man who had a Batmobile and wondered if we wanted him to come to our house. We were kind of going through a lot, but Charles came out, he brought the Batmobile, he brought Santa, he brought presents for all the kids. Everybody's laughing and singing and it was a wonderful time. I was standing next to Santa and of course everybody's facing him, so I'm looking the same way Santa is. And so I saw something that nobody else in that entire room could see. I could see the hospice nurses in the kitchen getting ready the morphine and the oxygen that they were going to use on Colton. And I remember at that time thinking to myself, I've never really been quite so happy and quite so sad at all the same time. After Santa Claus's party kind of broke up, we all went into the front yard and I chased down his dad, Earl Kell, and I pressed the keys of the Batmobile into his hands and I said, you've got to take your son for a ride in the car. I'd never given the keys to the Batmobile to any stranger, but I was so overwhelmed by what I saw, to me it was just very obvious. So it took some cajoling, but eventually we got Earl and his son into the car. They left and they were gone for about five or 10 minutes. And when they came around the corner and came back up to the house, I could see Colton motioning very uh, aggressively. Now he had, he had Down syndrome, so he couldn't speak. He was signed to us. He expressed his wanting to go by signing to me, telling me, hey, you know, go and ask him for, you know, he was signing for more. And I'm standing there by myself in the middle of the street. and I can see the Batmobile going off in the distance. And it just kind of hit me like a ton of bricks that this was something that I really needed to do is not just create this experience for this one family, but I needed to do it for every family that I could find. It just was a night of happiness among just a month of complete and utter sadness. I, I can't ever pay Charles back for that night. Nobody could ever take that moment from me with my son. And it's something that I will always have with Colton. Colton passed away two weeks after his visit. I sent him a, a note letting him know the happiness that he brought to us. My name is Charles Keller. I am the ambassador and liaison for research, education, and development, better known as Alfred. Because of all of the bravery and tenacity that you have, that you have faced in adversity, you get to press this button. It's the green button of courage. Can you help him push it on the count of three? One, two, three. of all ages. We welcome you to a place that is known by all, but has been witnessed by few. We welcome you to the world famous Fetch Game! He contacted us right away and he said, I'm doing something crazy. Come see. Earl and I came down here and he said, what do you think? Can I name it after your son? So we've been a part of it ever since. Colton was so sick. I mean, he loved every minute of that night. I feel like every time I come here, it's I'm spending time with him and I'm getting to see him still make a difference in other people's lives like he did in ours in the three years that we had him. That was a very big day for us. We've been using Batmobiles to help gravely and terminally ill children and their families throughout the Phoenix area for the last five years and tonight we had the great honor of celebrating our 100th family which was a big deal for us. We tend to focus on families that have children that are gravely and terminally ill and in situations like that everybody's affected not just the child. Parents have the torment of watching a child be sick and Oftentimes there are financial and emotional problems that go with that. So what we try to do is we can give the family and all their friends a two hour respite from the problems of their lives and just give them an opportunity where they have an excuse to smile. Ethan, did the codes match? I was 
was hoping yeah. you would know. <laughs> oh. My boys were three and five years old. For Valentine's Day, I got them the DVD set of the Batman television series. They became so inspired by it, enjoyed it so much, that I decided to look into seeing if Batmobiles even existed. Eventually, I ended up buying one on Craigslist in Houston, Texas about six months later. I brought it home and we decided as a family it wasn't important just to own the Batmobile, but we also wanted to figure out a way to share it with others. Godspeed, Gordon. Young man, you are going for a ride in the Batmobile. The rest of us need whatever it is that you have to offer. I'm proud to call you my friend and look, it's I'm from Bruce, millionaire Bruce Wayne. Wow. wow. Bruce Wayne was, of course, very successful in his life, but he also spent a great deal of his life and a great deal of his wealth helping others, not just through the Wayne Foundation and giving money to charities that needed assistance, but also as Batman. He puts his own neck on the line, and what I really love about that is he takes none of the credit. It's not important for him that he be celebrated. It's only important that the job get done. It's very difficult to take a Batmobile and call people up and say, hi, I've got a Batmobile and I want to help. They think you're crazy. Well, they happen to be right. I am a little crazy, but that's okay. But one of the people who really got the sense of what we were trying to do, why it was important, why it was fun, and why it was a good thing for families is this young lady right here, Bridget. I got a last second call from Mr. Wayne. And Mr. Wayne said, Mr. Wayne said, Charles, this is the 100th family. It's not just any night. We can't, we've got to do something special for Bridget. So that check is off for 1250 bucks is pure malarkey. Mr. Wayne is gonna send you a check for A year ago, my son Jackson was diagnosed with a form of kidney cancer called Wilms tumor. To watch our boys have so much fun, it was just priceless. I love the concept of paying it forward and it makes you want to start a foundation and get excited and motivated to pay it forward to others. I think I want the legacy of the Colton Cowell Foundation to be that giving is something that should bring you great joy. You can buy a fancy car or a boat but in comparison, being able to help somebody who's in need and do something that improves their lives really is so much more significant, so much more substantial. It's something that I'm very pleased to be able to do, but it's also something that has made my life much richer and much fuller. Atomic battery to For somebody to not have ever experienced a sick child, to use his personal Batmobile to do terrible work and not expect anything from anybody. He does this out of the kindness of his own heart. And there's not very many people like him. We also want to inspire people. For me, I've come up with this Batcave, but other people are gonna have other ideas. And I hope that they walk away from this experience feeling like I have this gift and I wanna share it with our community.